Morning guys. We're on the Nar Valley public footpath uh, at Narborough. Um, right next to the fisheries where the old mill um, is. And we're now gonna do a little trek from, uh, from Narborough to Kings Lynn on the kayaks. And uh, yeah, enjoy our down the river. See you in a bit. So this is where we're gonna start. Beautiful day, lovely flow on that chalk stream. Love this river, fished it all, all last summer, um, a bit, bit of the winter. And uh, this is where the journey to today starts. So we'll keep you posted. So we've literally just set off. Absolutely lovely current. Um, I could just sit here and not even paddle and chill out to Kings Lynn but the water's crystal clear. I'm hoping to see a little bit more of the river that I haven't seen before for when fishing, fishing season starts. Um, I do like fishing this river, but this is all uh, new territory for me. So um, yeah, keep you posted. So already I've seen two or three pike, loads of trout. Um, Everything looks magnified when you look in the water from above, so uh, nothing too big, but plenty in here, which is uh, what I like to see. It's um, a nice, healthier river. I mean, the water's crystal clear. It varies in depth. You go to a really shallow bit, which touches the bottom of the boat, and then uh, all of a sudden you're in three, four, Probably even five foot of water at times. So, it's a very, very nice river. Another little short clip. So, this is how tranquil it is. Just listen to the birds. You can't hear a motor car in sight. Just bliss. I'm gonna do. I've seen, I've seen. I'm looking for fish as well because I'm crazy on it. Um, I've seen lots, and uh, what I'm gonna try and do next time I see a sitting pike and the current's not too fast, I'm gonna put the GoPro underwater and get some underwater footage as well. But already, there's so much more to give from this river. So we're now coming up to what I think is the old bone mill. The old whale and human bone mill. That used to crush the bones for things like fertilizers and bone china and whatever else, else uh, bone dust is used for. And here's a little drop off. It's not it's not a lot. It's just um it looked bigger on Google. Um, but yeah, this was restored by the National Lottery Trust in 2015, I believe. Keep you posted. So this is probably as exciting as this bit gets. But I think you're better off going with, with a little bit of haste. Ah, that's nothing. Pretty cool, actually. There we are. So shallow in places, yet this river was made as a little cargo line. Oh no, this is the this is the better drop off of it. There we go. Quite good that bayonet. Yeah. Sorry? 
Oh no, I didn't see that. So, we found our first obstacle. A fallen tree. But I'm determined to get through it without exiting the, the vessel. So, let's do this. Plan A is go at the tree as quick as I can. Nearly. And we're over. There wasn't a plan B. <laughs> it's down to you, Rob. Plan A for Robert is I've had to tow him over and a big pushback and this should be it. Go. One more. One more. <laughs> Ready? Ready? Yep. He's over. Well, back wheel hooked on, eh? So we're on our second fallen tree. Rob's just about made it through. Again, my approach would be haste and speed. And hopefully. And we're over. Looks like the storm took its toll in some places. I don't actually know where we are relative to to um between Narborough and Kings Lynn. I should expect we're coming up between um, behind Pentley Abbey or something close to that. Keep you posted. I don't know where we are now, but what a beautiful bit of uh, water. Little little bridge here, dogs in the in the river, horse riders. Can't beat the good old Norfolk country. So, wasn't expecting this. It sounds like a bit of a drop off, but um <laughs> a bit more than what we saw back there. So I'm gonna have a little look first before Rob gets in a pickle see whether it's doable. Wow. Uh, <laughs> I think I'll go for it, but I'm not sure Robert will. Are you going to go for it, Rob? No. What? No, um, I think if you get enough speed, because it's it's not a <laughs> it's not a vertical drop off. It's a uh, there's a little bit of a um. <laughs> Just a little slope. It's like a little bit of a waterfall slope. Well, when he's in a canoe, you're in it. Yeah. And with ease, you're on him. Just, just do it. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah. We'll, we'll resume when we've decided. <laughs> I've decided I'm going to do it. Rob's using me as the guinea pig. I think he'll end up getting out. Right, we want speed. And I'm just going to go for it. That's all right. Yeah. Get some speed up, Rob. It's 
straight. Oh, <laughs> he's in. He's in. <laughs> Oh dear! Yeah, we're so we spot a little, uh, well not so little actually, the camera under, there's a, uh, hang on. So, it's lunch stop. Lovely place for it. Rob with his pants down. Picnic time. Trying to get dry. So we're now behind Pentney Abbey. I would probably say that's not quite halfway to Kings Lynn, but we've made good progress. Um, bear in mind, which is been doing leisurely paddling and uh, seen quite a few cyclists and walkers out, dog walkers, so you can't get a better day for it. Happy days. So we have a very old looking bridge and um, another one of Rob's favourite little water rapid bits. <laughs> Nothing like before though. Had a nice long steady paddle since lunch just behind Pentney Abbey and uh, we're now coming up to the Wormigay, Wormigay Bridge. Uh, not too far from Kings Lynn now really. Haven't seen as much fish and things as I'd like. Uh, I've seen one perch. Haven't seen any pike down this end and um, this is where I generally fish, so I have plenty from here. But just because you can't see them doesn't mean they're not here. But it's good to see all these areas from a different perspective. For me, this this little corner here is a little hot spot. As this drain enters the Nar and under this bridge normally one round here. And we're now going under the Sech Bridge on the A10. Water's quite low. Not many fish still. But you're not going to see them all from the top of the water are you? It's a bit of a long old slog now. tired and uh, just found a lure which I shall put to good use at some point Let's see if it works onwards and upwards so we're now at the back of Saddlebow or coming up to the back of Saddlebow from sort of St. Germans and Rob is very tired. He has cramp. He has um, achy back and his arms are tired. But it's the last leg of the expedition. Let's do it. <laughs> Rob's hanging on for dear life. He 
It's rolling onto the jetty. Oh. Grab the oh the boat's gonna go. I'm not sure he's gonna make the expedition. No. He's getting into the boat. <laughs> Could be the fail of it all. <laughs> so we're back in Kings Lynn. Right behind Saddlebow and uh, really I'm on the last legs now and uh, much to my surprise I haven't been down here for a while they've been doing some work down here for some reason they've been remodelling the bank so I um, don't know what's behind that but it'll be interesting to find out looks very neat but yeah we are nearly at the end Peace. That's the end of our expedition under the bridges with the two main roads into Lynn and um, Rob's totally had it and he's done his knee in when he fell off so um, until next time see you later